Hey guys, it's Kristen. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a video that was very requested by you guys when I filmed my PT school study routine last semester. I got tons of comments asking if I could show how I make my study guides for exams really specifically in detail. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm sitting at my desk and I have my MacBook here as well as my iPad. If you are interested in learning more about how I use my iPad for school, I have tons of videos about it on my channel if you want to check those out. But today is a Sunday and I do have an exam tomorrow and honestly have not started studying for it. I've over some notes here and there during the week but haven't really sat down and intensely studied yet because things have just been so crazy and so busy lately. I've been out of town the last two weekends so it's just been it's just been hard trying to balance it all lately so that's why I didn't upload a video last week just because I felt like I was burning out and really just kind of was needing a break but I'm going to start making my study guide and show you guys how I do that my exam is on therapeutic exercise for my exam and interventions class in case you were wondering and I probably should mention this but if you are new to my channel I am in my third semester in a doctor of physical therapy program. So I already graduated college. I graduated from the University of Georgia with a degree in exercise and sports science. So I am in grad school, which I feel like a lot of people don't know. So yeah, let's get working. So I have my setup here. I started a new Google Doc, lit a candle, and then I propped up my iPad with my class notes on it. Because if you didn't know, I take notes in class like this with my Apple Pencil. So I just download the PowerPoints into Notability and just kind of add anything on the side. But I mentioned this before in my vlogs, it's really hard to study just kind of like passively scrolling like so. So what I like to do is go ahead and type it out in a Google Doc and then print it. So I have a physical copy that I can go through and highlight. So I'm gonna get started now. Blue, that's the color you want when I met you. This is what we have so far. Basically, I title it by the PowerPoint title, Electromodalities. This is the heading of the slide, for example, right there, Clinical Uses of ESTEM. And then under that, I put all these bullets. And I've basically done that for the first few slides. So I'm going to keep going. I said I So I'm still working on my study guide and I'm almost done and I just got to this part which is basically describing like the frequency training load, rest time, sets, reps for different like things you're trying to target with interventions and this is something that for me personally would be better in a table so instead of just typing this I'm going to make a table. table. I am a big table chart gal. If it is possible to make a table, I do just because like I will memorize this and then when I'm taking the exam, like I can envision this in my head and it just makes it easier for me to learn. So definitely recommend. And I finished typing all my notes. So I'm, I just went ahead and changed all of the margins to 0.25 so more information can fit and I print less. I printed my study guide. Side note, I absolutely love that printer I just showed. I will have it linked down below. I got it from Target after not having a printer for a few years because my old one broke and I just never got around to getting another one. But I definitely recommend getting a printer, especially if you like to print out study guides. I know some people just like make Quizlets, but that just is not, not for me. So this is the study guide I just made. And this is the study guide I made for our last exam in this class. So I wanted to show you guys this because the next thing that I'm going to do is sit down and kind of highlight and write little notes on the side of my study guide. Like so, just so it's kind of like more interactive and more colorful. And it is only about noon right now, so I do have all day to kind of just flip through this while I'm doing stuff around the house and studying and such. So... 
I'm going to get started doing that now with this study guide. Oh, and real quick, if you're wondering the school supplies I use, this is the Pilot G2.5 pen, absolute fave. And I have these four pastel Stapelo Boss highlighters that are from Amazon. And I have used these since my first semester. So it's kind of funny to look back because all my study guides like look exactly the same. So yeah, I'm going to get highlighting, finish highlighting and writing down stuff on my study guide. And it only took me 25 minutes. So here's a quick look at what it looks like. And I currently am on a five minute break. This app is called Focus Keeper. I always, always talk about it in my vlogs because this is how I study. I do 25 minute sessions with a five minute break. And then after four rounds, I get a 25 minute break. So honestly, this study guide is only six pages. There have been exams where my study guides have been like 40 plus pages. So that's why I'm making it the day before the exam. Typically, I try to make this a week or so before the exam and then split up studying like a few pages of it every single day because I get really anxious about exams and testing and if I wait to cram like tons and tons and tons of information last minute, I literally have panic attacks. Three minutes until I have to start studying again and then I have three 25 minute rounds and then honestly that should probably be enough studying. So I'll move on to doing some other homework or something. But I do wanna show you guys some other study guides that I have made in the past. I made this binder after my first semester of PT school and it has all of my old study guides in it. And I added a, a divider for every class. So I literally have like every study guide I have made in PT school so far in here. And it is just so nice to have it all in one place. It's good to look back at if I know I need to review for a certain class or something. It just keeps everything in one place and it is very aesthetic honestly. So I definitely recommend this strategy for studying because it helps you for the short term for the test and also for the long term. So that is how I make my study guides in physical therapy school. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions or any video requests or anything please leave them in the comments down below because I respond to every single comment and also subscribe if you enjoyed because that will really, really help my channel grow and I will talk to you guys in my next video next Saturday. Bye friends!